Hey boys, welcome back to Sea Eye Fishing Guernsey. A long time without a video. And that's been down to the bad weather, but we're back on it today. We're coming down to one of my favourite bass marks, my local marks down the road from home. So yeah, we've got a bit of chop in the water, got a four to five breeze. So yeah, hopefully the bass are here today. We're on our way walking down there now. Hopefully the wind noise ain't gonna be too bad, but it is what it is. So I'll run you through the taxes when we get down there, guys. And hopefully we can get into some of these shiners. If you're new to the channel, if you can subscribe and like, that'd be awesome. The more people we get in here, we're getting close to a thousand subs now. So yeah, let's do that. Get those bass. So uh, guys, I'm going to run you through, this is the kind of ground we're going to be fishing over today. The kind of area we're going to be using the lures. Big boulder beds full of weed. Great area for the bass. I said I've caught so many bass over here, out on this mark over the years. And uh, yeah, in this bay here, I'm my most bass I've had. In here is 10 in about an hour and a half session. Just fish out to fish. Can't really see it at the moment here, but there we are. Normally the whole beach is full of those. That's a longworm uh, cast. There we are, we've got loads of them here. Uh, we'll show you when the tide comes up over them. You got the sand eels coming out the sand. But the, the bass come and blow upon the sand here and get all the logworm out of the um, sand. So you got a lot of bass in here. But we're going to head right over to where the rod end's pointing, by the top of that rainbow is there. Look. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we're gonna head over there, guys, and I'll uh, run you through the setup we're gonna be using for this bass fishing. We've got about an hour till hot, uh, sorry, low water, so I don't want to mess around too much. I've got my head torch, but it's only gonna be a quick session. So yeah, let's see if we can actually get a bass. Happy days, let's do this. So we're right down in the mark, guys. I'm just showering you from the wind a little bit at the second, just to run you through the uh, setup we're gonna be using for this bass fishing. Uh, we've got a hell of a breeze in here, but. Normally nine times out of 10, the bass absolutely love that it's a predatory fish for bass. So yeah, anything, when the tide's like this with a bit of chop in it, anything that it sees goes past, it sings things to smash it. So hopefully, fingers crossed a few in here. But anyway, we're gonna be starting off with a Daiwa Crossfire. This is a 4,000 size reel. We've got 20 pound braid on there. So I like to use my braid for my bass fishing so you can feel every little knock. That's, uh, people can use mono or whatever they like. And then, We've got the Savage Gear, this is the SGS2 9 foot 6 spinning rod. It's 15 to 56 um, gram. Perfect for uh, bass fishing. I know uh, bass fishing's got a nice bend in it. So yeah, puts up a uh, good scrap and you get a nice bass. And all we're going to be starting off with, if you haven't tried these lures before, guys, if you haven't checked my channel before, go and uh, check these lures out. This is the Savage Gear V2. Absolutely kills for bass around this area. We've got a lot of sand deals in Guernsey. So yeah, hopefully we can uh, get a bass or two. It's been a long time since I've had one. I haven't really fished for them recently. But uh, yeah, enough chatting. If you can hit the like button, guys, if you're new around here to the channel, feel free to subscribe. There's going to be a lot to come on the channel in the future. A lot, a lot on the boat. And uh, lure fishing, all sorts, all to do with fishing, we'll be doing it. So yeah, let's do this. Sorry about the wind noise, guys, if you can hear any. We've got a head on uh, wind here. Lovely big swell, beautiful. That's what we want for the bass. Fish on, guys. Bass on, baby. Only a shy, little small shiner, but we're back on the bass. Casting really shallow there. Beautiful. <laughs> we're back on him, baby. I'm going to be able to lower him off here. Oh, we only a tiddler. Beautiful, though. We're back on him. We're back on the bass. Woo! Told you that bit of tide, guys, would bring him in, and sure enough, boom. There he is down there, it's going to get him on hooks and we'll get you a better show. Happy days.
Yeah, well, guys, only a tiddly little bass, probably about half a pound that is. But check the predatory instinct on that fish. Look at the big dorsal fin, the big spikes. Look at that, yeah, look how pristine that bass is. Big mouth they've got. They've got really sharp gills. Oh, okay. On the back side, I don't want to put this fish out the water too long. He's been in the pool for a couple of minutes. But there you've got razor sharp gill plates. They've got a big mouth for a small fish. I'll just show you what the uh, lure the bass fell to. I said a good old Savage Gear VT, you can't go wrong with these lures. Not too expensive and happy days. One last little show of it. I'm happy to be back on the bass. I'm gonna get a couple of photos and we'll get a release of it. Happy days. So there we are guys, we're gonna release this little beauty. Absolutely pristine bass, okay buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Been in the uh, pond recovering. Look at that for a backdrop with the sun going down. Absolutely beautiful. I said, you got a bit of a breeze and the chop on the wall. Look at that, guys. A lovely chop for the bass. And it brings them in. All right, one last little show. Happy days. Let's get another one. Well, that's a welcome surprise, guys. Four or five casts right beyond the heads there. As you can see where the end of the rod's pointing. There's some big heads there. There's a big gully there where the bass sit behind. I wait for anything to come over. You gotta be so careful because it's really shallow. But the bass love the um, shallow marsh. All the bait fish get pushed into the um, corners and they can home in on them. I'm just so happy to get a bass again. There are big storms over here in Guernsey, same as the UK as every uh, has. But yeah, we're back on them, baby. Bit of weed on the lure. Well, I'm well happy with that, really am. I just had that urge to go out for an hour. But where we're fishing over here, you've got big clumps of rock and then it's all sand. But I've got some big bass in here. All we're doing is a nice slow retrieve with the um, lure. Quite slow to be honest, because at the, uh, this time of year the bass ain't as active. Because it's cold water, they don't hit the lure as, um, they're not so quick to hit the lure. But when the choppy conditions are like this, you got more chance. Come on, Mr. Basil, let's get one more. Yeah, we're in, guys. Bass on, baby! Woo! <laughs> First cast in the new spot. Check the back ground down this one. Only a tiddler. But well, we don't care. Probably the smallest bass I've ever caught. Out for a little whipper snapper. <laughs> Look at that, nearly as big as the lure. But check the collars out on that. You can tell the difference between the bass I had earlier to the ones that are living on the sand. That is apps. That's probably the I reckon the smallest bass I've ever caught. Look at that. <laughs> but look at the difference of the collar. You can tell this one's living on the sand. Big BDR. You can see they're predatory fish. Again, fast as a Savage Gear V2. So if you haven't got one of those in your tackle box and you're a bass fisherman, go and buy one, they're six quid. So yeah, happy days. Not gonna mess around this one. I'm gonna get it straight back. Beautiful. Hello guys, one last little show, little baby. Two bass down, I don't care the size. We're back on the bass, happy days. Gonna pump them into the tide here. They go away nice and easy, happy days. We're back on the bass. So it's going quite well at the moment, guys. Uh, two bass down, been here for what, half an hour? 
I'll say a bit of chopping the water for the bass fish. If you're new to bass fishing, uh, you want overcast, nine times out of ten, overcast conditions if you can get it, with a nice chop in the water, and uh, your bass uh, percentage of catching will go up probably 50%. You will catch them in the daylight and the bright sun, but when it's overcast like it is tonight kind of thing, you've got a nice bit of a breeze, the bass seem to uh, come on the feed a lot more, and anything that goes past them, they tend to hit it. So yeah, if I could give you a tip like that, guys, it's definitely that, and get the Savage Gear V2 low. So yeah, we're back on them. If you haven't hit the like button, guys, ready? If you're new to the uh, channel, feel free to subscribe. Let's see if we can get some more. So happy guys we caught a bass again today. We're back on him. Well I'm gonna have one more cast here guys and then I'm gonna head over the beach and we'll have a go over the other side of the bay. And uh, yeah, before it gets dark, so I don't want to be clambering over the rocks when it's dark. I've got my head torch in my bag. But yeah, just so happy to be back on the fish. Let's see if we can get some more of these beautiful fish. Well guys, I'm gonna have 10 or so more casts. We come right into the other side of the bay now. There's another productive place for bass this side as well. This is where I showed you the uh, logworm beds before. That is where the rod's pointing over there. And the bass come in here normally. I've got some big bass on here as well. I right, say so I'm not going to stay too much longer because night's falling. But normally as dust comes, uh, that's when you get your prime time to get a nice big bass. But again, I wouldn't recommend, if you're new to bass fishing, coming out on your own on the slippery rocks and that. Always come out with someone that's experienced. But I'm well happy with this session we've had. Two bass. I'm, I haven't been out for a few, uh, good few weeks. So to get back on them, it's nice. It'd be nice to crash in the uh, session with one more though. I say all we do with the retrieve is for this lure, it's nice and slow, you see on the reel there, not spinning fast at all, just the odd twitch on the rod. Well, you can't beat a setting like this, fishing down the cliffs, catching bass. So that's the end of another session guys, a quick hour session, we had uh, two bass tonight, which I'm pretty happy to record to be honest, I've been out for the last three weeks and I've been bassing for the last month I don't think, so yeah, really happy to have caught that, uh, those couple of bass, I say they failed to, that Savage Gear V2, I say I keep saying if you haven't got that low in your box, you're missing out, that's for sure, but yeah, I'm really happy with that one, I've got the bass bog again now. So it'll be coming out again really soon, the same mark. It never fails to catch this mark. So yeah, if you enjoyed this one, guys, feel free to uh, hit the like button. If you're uh, new around here and you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe, it don't cost nothing. There's plenty to come on the channel in the future. Hopefully the uh, weather's gonna improve soon. We've got summer on the way. So yeah, happy days. It's been Sea Fishing Guernsey, and we'll catch you on the next video super soon. Cheers for watching. Mm -hmm.